split them at the end and we pull them. Jake and Caleb get the biggest percentage, though. Prisky, how you doing, Deets? TGIF, and shout, uh, shout to my lovely wife, Tara. Hello, Tara. Welcome to the bar. Thanks for joining us. Pittsburgh! I see Pittsburgh out there. I'll be there next weekend. Yes, very excited about that. We should do a show from Pittsburgh. AJ Styles, happy National Pizza Party Day to the out-of-tune tuners. Did you know it was a National Pizza Party Day, or did we remind you? I didn't know. I didn't know. They told me here. They got a pizza sitting there with toppings. I'm not too happy about it. Nessasaurus. Nessasaurus. Am I saying that right again? Nessasaurus. I always said it. Deets, what's your favorite drink? What's the rest? Take a shot for you. Good luck. My favorite drink, uh, probably a little Habiki here. There you go. I shouldn't be plugging that. Habiki, call me. We'll hook up. All right. Let's get started. Let's get into the big political story of the week. You ready? Last Friday, the governor of Arizona signed a bill that now makes it legal for citizens to carry nunchucks in public. Previously, the martial arts tool was classified as a deadly weapon, putting it on the same list as bombs and machine guns. Yeah, should be. Uh, nun nunchucks were placed on the restricted list in the 1970s with the rise in popularity of kung fu movies. Once again, inspiring Bruce Lee's can practice the art of the chucks. And you know what? Thank God, because I've been waiting to bring these babies out, and now I can. Now I can. All right, maybe I made these before the show. I don't know. Either way, I get to play with them. And here's my question for you guys. Do you think the citizens should have the right to bear nunchucks? Yes or no? Do a little Bruce Lee as you're walking down the street. Uh, what movie was it, Will Ferrell? I, I picture him using nunchucks. Was it Anchorman something? I don't know. Do you think citizens should have the right to bear nunchucks? Yes or no? I think that was in the, de uh, the declaration. Uh, everybody's now voted. Here's what I want to know. What percentage of players voted yes? Let's legalize the nunchucks. Let's do it. What percentage of players voted yes to legalize nunchucks? That's the hardest word to say, by the way. I always thought they were numchucks when I was a kid. I'd say numchucks. Nun. Nunchucks. The word nun and chucks. Very strange. The actual percentage of players that voted yes to legalize nunchucks, 69. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing because they're not bad or it's like a bad thing because you're all like, yep, let's get them out on the streets. No, 31%. Uh, yes is 69. 69% of you want to legalize the nunchucks. Stay away from that 69%. They can be deadly, especially to yourself. I've seen many a person hit themselves in places they don't want to be hit with the nunchucks while they're practicing. Just saying. I'm just saying, hello, Autumn Blake. Hey, Deets, what's the best drink with pizza? Probably beer. I mean, you got to go beer or pizza, right? They kind of go hand in hand. I would think so. Um, yeah, I'm going to go beer. Coco, one margarita, please. Caleb, Jake, anybody? Margarita, ba back left corner there for uh, Coco. We'll be right there. We'll be right there. Again, we're making our way. A lot of people to serve. A lot of people to serve. We're a little short staffed tonight. Apologies. Apologies. All right. Uh, let's see. Nita. Nita, uh, Nita, yeah. I hope I can win some money this time. I hope you do as well. And with that, you ready to move on? All right. There are two really stupid food products out right now, and I can't decide which one is stupider. Help me decide, please. First, a former creative director at Netflix raised $1.6 million for his new canned water company called Liquid Death. It's being advertised as a punk alternative to energy drinks, otherwise known as H2O. It's just water in a can, people. And he raised over a million dollars. Next, Burger King. Yes, Burger King. You know Burger King. They launched a new line of unhappy meals designed to let customers order a meal that matches their mood. You have options like the pissed meal. I'm not making this up, people. Look it up. When you're feeling mad or the blue meal. Uh, when you're feeling sad, ironically, there's no happy option because if you're happy, well, you know what? You just don't go to Burger King. That's what happens. Here's my question. Which of these two food products is the stupidest? Liquid death or unhappy meals? Ugh, man, I, we cannot make this up, people. These are real. These are real. Which of the two is, is the stupidest, though? Liquid death, water in a can, or the unhappy meals where you can get the pissed meal? I like two pissed meals for my kids. Is that having a bad day? Everybody's now weighed in. What percentage of players said unhappy meals is the stupidest? Un 
<laughs> you know, Ronald, poor Ronald. Texas damsel, numb is how you feel when you get hit in the head. That's very true. The nunchucks make you a little numb when you hit anybody or yourself, for that matter. I think more people hit themselves. All right, what percentage of players said Unhappy Meals is the stupidest? It is 36. That means, wow, really? Liquid death, 64%. Thinking that's the stupidest. I water in a can called Liquid Death, 64%. But the Unhappy Meal, only 30? Hmm. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. Go we order got some drink orders for the next round. What is it? We got some drink orders coming in. Oh, we got drink orders. Let's do it. Here we go. Vodka straight up, please. On it right now. Coming at you. Who else do we got? We've got rum and coke. Hold the rum from Mill House. Nice. Ice, I guess we can put ice in that. Maybe we give, we give umbrellas in all our drinks, by the way, regardless of what you order. Here we go. Uh, tea, tea. Can I get a Long Island iced tea? Absolutely. I think that's the rum, the vodka, the tequila, the gin. That's a doozy. That's a doozy, people. Uh, Clyde, shots for everyone. Done. They're on me because it's, natural, nas, na, na, it's National Pizza Party Day. Yeah, there you go. Shots on me, everybody. <laughs> uh, well, listen, we all know that moving, you know when you have to move out of your house, we all know sucks. But is it worse than jail? A recent survey found that some Americans would rather spend a week in jail then undergo the stress of moving into a new house. And who could blame them? According to the study, it takes an average of two months to pack up everything you own. And most Americans take four months to unpack their last box. Maybe a week in jail wouldn't be so bad. So let's pull the ripcord audience. First of all, take me away. I'm going a week. You can take me away. But which would you prefer? Moving houses or one week in jail? Take me to jail. I'll tell you right now. It's not fun, people. It's not fun. But uh, moving houses, one week in jail, which would you prefer to do? Maybe some people are like, hey, it's not that bad. I love moving. New house, you get to set things up, new furniture. Here's what I want to know. What percentage of players chose one week in jail? I'd be in that. I'd, be, I'd definitely be part of that. That could be me easily right there. Jail or move? Jail. The actual percentage of players that chose one week in jail. Raise your bar up. You want to be close to this number. And that number is, is it going to be majority? I don't know. Let's see. One week in jail. Oh, wow. I am so in the minority on that one. I'm so in the minority on that one. Moving houses, 77%. All right. I get it. I'm weird like that, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. One week in jail. Somebody else moves for me. I guess if somebody else moved for me, completely unpacked, did everything, I'll take the week in jail. I'll take the week in jail. Uh, Jace, thank God for moving companies. Yeah, although I used a moving company last time. Not that much easier, man. You got the, all the boxes, they leave you, and then you're just sitting there with all those boxes, and it's not fun. It's not fun. Iron mover seats, I did. I had them, and then they start adding all the extra, oh, the six rolls of tape, and this and that. Anyway, uh, let's move on, shall we? If you're looking for a job, anybody out there? Raise your hand if you're looking for a job. Well, we found two new positions that just opened up. You ready? First, Natural Light is looking for a beer drinking <laughs> intern. Uh, duties include attending brand parties and plenty of, quote, product research. The beer company says they're looking to hire someone that is natty qualified, meaning things like GPA and employment history won't matter. Please apply responsibly. Second, a luxury goods company is looking to hire a yacht reviewer. Oh, man, the job would require you to live on different yachts for a week at a time and test every aspect of the boat. The company says you could be living on up to 50 yachts per year. I'm on a boat. <laughs> Which job would you rather have, a beer intern or a yacht reviewer? Wow, that's interesting. Uh, what do you guys do? What, do you, what would you do? Beer intern, yacht reviewer. I go yacht. Got to go the yacht. Yeah, everybody, yeah, maybe beer. Some people are like, dude, beer? You kidding me? Beer. Beer. Although All right, like everybody's now weighed in. What percentage you. of players chose Yacht Reviewer? Tell me by raising your bar from zero to 100 on that number, the percentage that you think chose Yacht Reviewer over the beer intern. Beer intern, that just sounds, that sounds like a real job, kind of. I don't know. Like that guy that did 30 days eating all the McDonald's. I feel like that'd be, you just drinking a lot of beer and. All right, let's see. The, player, the percentage of players that chose Yacht Reviewer, let's see if it is the least, if the most. Yes, 84. 84, all right. I think we're all on the same page, people. We got it. The 16% of you out there, hey, go for it. Go for it. 
Go drink. Go have fun. Some people are like, dude, a yacht over beer? There's not a question. I'm going beer. Um, yachts, y- y- yo, yo toxic Tina. Uh, there's beer on the yacht. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Hmm. That's a really good point. All right. That's a good point. I get it. All right. Well, listen, our last round here. We have a little game for you called What's in the Box? What's in the Box? All right. And here we go. I have no idea. Swear to you all. There's a box here that uh, Jake, Caleb, everybody, uh, Olivia, I think everybody put something a little together here in this box. So here's what happens. In this box is a mystery object that I have never seen before. I'm going to open the box and describe what's inside. You then have to decide whether I'm telling you the truth about what's in the box or I'm lying. So let's say, for example, if I saw an orange, it's going to be something way crazier than that. But if I saw an orange and I look at it, I can either tell you guys that I'm looking at an orange or I can say, like, I, I see an apple. And you guys have to know if I'm lying. It'll be a little more involved than that. Everybody kind of clear on that one? You guys ready? All right. Here we go. I'm going to take a look and I'm going to explain to you what I'm seeing. You tell me if I'm lying or not. I have no idea what's in this, and I'm very excited about this all day because I have no idea what they put in here. So just watch my reactions here, people. <laughs> I'm looking at a, at, a, at, a, at a phone, like a, like a pay phone, part of a phone, um, lying down, and it's leopard print, and there's tentacles hanging out of that phone, pink tentacles going like this. Here's my question. I'm going to speak in third party, and my name is IE. Was Dietz's description true or false? I don't know. You tell me. Based off my face, what is it? What is it? Uh, was it true or false? Was I telling the truth? Let's see. You want to make up tentacles? Some people, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. It's true. <laughs> false. All right, this is going to be good. Well, before we get there, I'm not going to say what percentage of players said I was lying. I made it up. It's not what was in the box. What do you guys think? And then we're going to reveal it after. What percentage of players said false? What do you think? What do you think? (laughs) It's me in a box. A deets in a box. All right. (laughs) Hey, sorry. 63% said it's false. You guys ready for this? All right. Here we go, people. Here we go. Um, here we go. People thought I was lying. People thought I was lying. You know, people, I love you all. I was telling the truth. Take a look at this. <laughs> it is a phone with tentacles hanging out of it. There you go. Can I see the chat too? Um, there you go. Look at this. What do you guys think? Oh, no. Um, We've got a phone, tentacles. I, I don't know if I can make a call, not make a call. What do you guys think? I was telling the truth. Look, yeah, WTF, I, I hear you, man. Um, this is what the staff did here for me. Very funny, guys, very funny. I love it. By the way, we will keep this at some point. We're gonna do a special show where I'm gonna auction this thing off and we're gonna send it to somebody out there. We'll keep these items. We'll do this, maybe, and keep these items. It's very fun. Huh? I knew it, says Pickles. All right, so you can tell. First, I didn't think enough, actually, to, to lie or not, but hold on. I don't want to make you guys wait here. Let's see who our winners are first before we get into some chat. Take a look at who these people are. Da, da Martina, DA Martinez, 780 with uh, 495 points. That's awesome. $52.45. Not a bad Friday. Yoko Ono, Diva, uh, Perry Grin, Jack, Skull, uh, Skula, a fat fam, master of disaster. Twin, a lot of other winners out there. Congratulations. Guys, it's Friday and you won some cash. It's a good day. It's a good day. And you get to hang out with us. I'm going to totally save this and we're going to do something with this. Refer your friends in the meantime. They will get 10% of any game that you play if you come in first. Pretty awesome. You can win money for doing nothing. In or out on Monday, I'll be back here. $5,000 up for grabs. So make sure you come back and see us. And now we got this pizza thing going on right now. It is, uh, okay, they're bringing me, you're bringing me the pizza. I have no idea what's on this pizza. I apparently have to eat it in my contract. I really got to get a better agent. Um, let's take a look. This is Olivia, by the way, giving me the pizza. Olivia, you can say hi if you'd like. You can say hi. I don't know. Were you on camera? Here, oh, there she is. There she is. Oh, no. No, no. It smells disgusting. Guys. 
I'm not making that up, people. It is. Mm -mm, I don't know if I can do it. It's anchovy. What, what is on this? Tell me. I don't know. Whipped cream, sardines. Oh, guys, seriously? Ugh. It's it's mean. That's just mean. I don't know. I, I, what the audience pick? Do I have to do this? You have Everybody to do it. Everybody in chat, if you say I don't have to do it, I won't do it. Does anybody help me? Anybody help me? Why? Oh, God, you guys. This is not, I hate sardines. I, nah, I don't think I've ever had I want you to eat it. All right. Just one bite. I, I seriously, I, I, guys, I don't know if I can do this. I told you, this is our bucket and some water. This is not funny. I, I don't know if I can do it. This is like the word. I, I need a snack. I need anything over this. A sardine on a, with whipped cream. Okay. All right, guys. I, I love you. I'm doing this for you guys. For all you out there, I'm doing it. I don't know why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because it's here and I'm standing in front of you all. And now I kind of have to do it. So. Shadow says, do it, weenie. Oh. What's the follow up? Mm -hmm. really oh. Texas says, suck it up, butter cake. <laughs> that absolutely the most disgusting thing I've ever had in my life. I swear. I swear. Oh, God. I love pizza, but that looks gross. All right. In honor of National Pizza Party Day, that's from me to you. Maybe I'll save the pizza and send it with the phone someday to somebody. That pizza will be in really good shape by the time we send that thing out. Someone says, make um, the crew finish it. Make the, yeah. <laughs> Olivia, would you like to come in and have a bite? Should we get Olivia in here to have a bite of her pizza that she made? Yes, let's see. Should we? Oh, Olivia, are now, oh, now look, the tables are turned. Oh, oh she's vegan. She she's vegan. I can take the, uh, okay, fair enough. She's vegan. I'm going to let her off the hook. I'm going to let her off the hook. Next, the, that's really bad. Really bad. All right. Guys, it's Friday. Thank you for joining us. We're going to do this every Friday here, News at the Bar. Make sure you come back and see us every Friday and all week long when we have all our games. Is there some additional shout outs out there? Huh? All right. So, root beer with pizza. I love root beer right now with, with the pizza booster gold. That was so disgusting. Uh, thank you. Yes, get Olivia in the yeah, Well, Pickle, Pickle wrote that weird phone. It made me lose the game. <laughs> That's pretty good. This is really clever, really clever. Happy Friday. You're the greatest. Thank you. Here's Lori. Who else do we have out there? Shouts. Wise gal, one liquid death on the box, please. Very funny. Very funny. Liquid death on the way out to you right now. I have to take one more sip of something to get this out of Hold on. Deets straight up. Oh, well, there you go. Clumsy on the way. On the way. Um, very funny. Who else do we have? Sun City Deets. Pour me a triple crown <laughs> on the rocks. You got it. You got it, Sun City. Coming out to you. Anything's going to be better than what I just ate. I, oh, man, that was bad. That goes on my list. Beast Boy, Liquid Death, Shake and Not Stir. I love it. People get on the Liquid Death as a cocktail. And we, can we buy it yet? It's still not made, right? Yeah, I believe it is available. If it's available, we're going to have it on the bar next week. Can we make that happen? We I want some Liquid Death on this bar next week. Yeah. It's uh, Olivia's Pittsburgh says eat. <laughs> Olivia Pittsburgh saying eat. Uh, Unicorn, clearly you people have never been to jail. No way. Okay, fair enough. I have not. I have not. So so fair enough. Uh, yes, I shouldn't probably make take that lightly. Uh, Kool-Aid. Aquaman would be upset. Bring on the liquid death. I would. Liquid death sounds way better than what I just ate, even though it's only water. Who else is out there? Uh, Stark, greetings from Germany. I love Raise the Bar. Hope uh, Bavaria Munich wins the championship. There you go. I see that watching the game. Something going on. Did I say that wrong? No? All right. Let's see. Who else? Destiny. Hi, Dietz. Shout out to my little bro in different time zone. Love you, Cammy. Good luck. Guys, who wants the rest of this pizza? I got a lot left over. Anybody want me to send this to them? Delicious. By the way, what was the other option? What could I? Cheetos? Pick. Che I would have eaten that in a heartbeat. Pickles, maple syrup, and Cheetos was my other option. I would have, uh, that would, I kind of would have enjoyed. That was disgusting. I know why everybody picked it. Was it even close? Anyway. All right. Here's a, to, oh, Jay, uh, Skid22, uh, Caleb, this is for you. Brown chicken, brown cow. There he goes. We got to get a shot at him doing that. Little Mama, hey, Deets, and all the lovely reporters. Have a great weekend. Whoop, whoop. You as well. All my love and all our love to you guys out there. Have an awesome weekend.
Beautiful, beautiful epiphany. Uh, hello, Dee. Shout, shout my mom and dad for the 50th. Oh, the very sweet 50th anniversary. That is awesome. Congratulations. God bless you both. 50 years is a real, real testament. I love that. Make Todd eat it. If Todd was here, I'd make him eat it. Natural Sista. Hey, hey there, Dee. I'll be taking some shots at karaoke tonight. Help me sing better. Well, good luck. You don't want my, you don't want my singing. Um, you may have heard me earlier today. I did a little, uh, when the moon hits you, I like a big pizza pie. Not so good. But good luck to you on the karaoke. Uh, your wife won't kiss you after the pizza. Probably right, Skid22. Amber, I'll take a shot. A double chocolate vodka, please. That sounds really good after what I just ate. That sounds really good. We got some more. Uh, a, a Hargrove uh, vodka and pineapple. Vodka and pineapple. Rum and pineapple. Pretty good. Rum and pineapple. Good. Vodka and pineapple. Never had that. Um, scotch, please. Well, what do you think goes the best with whipped cream, Skittle, anchovy pizza? That's what I want to know because I need to drink that very fast. Uh, uh, Lisa May, rum runner, extra rum. What is a rum runner? Anybody know what's in a rum runner? I'm going to have to look that up in my oh, book yeah. before we send it out. I'm going to have to look it up. I don't know. Uh, Carrie Christie, shout out to Kevin from Carrie. Hello. Hello, Kevin from Carrie. Uh, pickle, pickle again. Uh, next time, watermelon and mustard on the pizza. Watermelon and mustard. I would have taken, honestly, I would have probably taken 99% of anything else than what I just had. Listen, it's Friday. The weekend is here. I love that you guys came and joined us to get your weekend started off right. Stay safe. Have fun. Do something you've never done before. Come back and tell me about it on Monday. In the meantime, you know I love each and every one of you. I'm going to drink some water and rinse my mouth out. Have an awesome weekend, and I'll see you all soon. I love you all. Bye.